What's up, wild youth? I hope you guys are doing well. Quick question. What's been your go-to song during this quarantine? Please comment on our Instagram. With that said, I want to share something today that has been brewing in my heart for over a year. 2019 was definitely a year of transition for me as you welcomed me into your family as your youth pastor. And now God has really used this COVID-19 in my life to really focus me on who we are as a youth ministry. So today, I wanna to quickly share the mission and vision of WOW Youth so that you can prepare when we come back together. WOW Youth exists to connect all teenagers, to restore and empower them to Christian growth and ministry. Connect. We're going to be living a life where we are connected to God and connected to others. We're going to live in a way that where we allow God to restore his image back in us. And we're going to live an empowered life to do God's work and calling while you are in school. See, there was a time in Jesus's life where the scribes and religious leaders tried to stump them with a question. See, Jesus just got finished talking about the resurrection, and then the scribes approached Jesus and asked one of the most important questions of the day, again, trying to stump him. They asked, which command is the most important of them all? You see, that's like saying, what does God want me to do most? Or, man, what's the purpose of my life? But Jesus, in his wisdom, answered this. He said this in Mark 12, 29 through 31. And let me read. This is the most important, Jesus answered. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Our vision here at Wow Youth is to live a Jesus-oriented life at a 90-degree angle. A 90-degree angle? Yeah, it's known as a right angle in geometry and trigonometry. It's, it forms when a vertical perpendicular line meets with a horizontal base. So is the Christian life, where our vertical relationship with Jesus meets our horizontal love for other people. So as you continue your quarantine, may your connection to God restore his love in you in such a way that you become empowered to shine God's love, God's word, God's light, and God's witness to other people. And before you make any radical decision, ask yourself two questions. How does this affect my connection to God? And how will this affect my connections with other people? This is Pastor Josue checking out. And from here on out, keep it 90. Wow, youth, we would like to hear from you. Here's our contact info and follow us on Instagram. See you next week.